Hey, what's up guys, Arav here. Welcome back to a brand new video here today. And today we're talking about the brand new Grid 2019 game. If you don't know, Grid is being rebooted later this year. We had some kind of early gameplay, uh, I think now a couple of months ago, actually, or two months ago, something like that. And uh, so far, we haven't really talked about it much else on the channel ever since that first gameplay. So I thought it'd be time to make another video about Grid 2019 because it is not too far away, actually. It's now launching 11th October. I think initially it had a release date of about September-ish um, and it got push back to October 11th, I believe. Uh, so not too far away, actually. And we recently got a video last week from Codemasters on the Grid YouTube channel about a little video about Fernando Alonso being a race consultant for the game. And we got the tiniest little bit of gameplay of Fernando Alonso's actual 2006 Renault in Grid, which you'll be able to play. You have to actually play through the campaign, though, to unlock it, I believe. So in Grid 2019, we talked about this before, there are a series of racing series essentially you can do. You don't have to play all of them, but you have to play a certain amount to unlock the kind of grid grand final. But one of those racing series is the Fernando Alonso racing kind of team series, if you will. Obviously, Fernando Alonso, if you don't know, has his own kind of esports team and actual proper racing team that races, I think, Renault 3.5 or whatever it is, basically. But he's got his own team and he's actually now a race consultant and he's got his own little series in the game, basically. And the final kind of boss battle, if you will, the boss race you're trying to build up to once you do all the kind of first few races is you get to jump in to the F1 2006 Renault and race Fernando Alonso. He himself is an AI car as well in the game which is pretty damn sick. You know the gameplay you're seeing in the background here you'll see he's right there in the uh, kind of uh, the, the prototype cars if you will uh, around Havana one of the new tracks in the game so you get to race around uh, with Fernando Alonso and he will have his own characteristics probably looking at the, at the gameplay probably quite aggressive as well with Grid having you know I think it's uh, crazy, like over 200 or 400 AI with all different personalities, different stats and traits that you will come up against. And so one of them will be Fernando Alonso. But here's a little clip of the uh, 2006 Renault gameplay. Literally, I wasn't kidding. It's it's a tiny bit of gameplay. Obviously, they're trying to hide it because uh, it's quite a special car to have in a game like Grid where it's not exact. It's obviously still a track race. It's not open world, but it's still pretty cool to see it in a very different environment to the normal F1 games. Of course, we have that car available in F1 2019 here with some gameplay you're about to see now uh, the Spanish GP but um yeah, like I said, it's just very, very different to see it in the in the context of Grid. I'm sure they probably didn't find it too difficult to bring across the car. Uh, they would have had the assets from F1 2019, I'm guessing, in 2018. And so it would have been too difficult to bring that across into Grid. Uh, they've got it in two different liveries, uh, for now at least. There might be more, but right now on Twitter, they've tweeted out about uh, the original livery, of course. The one from the F1 Championship. And then they've got this Grid-style livery as well. There might be more that you can actually customize the car with, potentially. That would be pretty cool to have some customization on the F1 car itself. But apart from that, we haven't heard too much else about the F1 car in terms of where else we can use it. Hopefully it will be available in multiplayer uh, from the get-go potentially, or you might need to unlock it first in the single player. Not too sure how that would work out in terms of that. It kind of makes sense maybe to unlock it in single player to play it in multiplayer, but at the same time I kind of also like the idea of jumping in straight away with mates and just being able to you know race around uh, random grid circuits basically in the F1 car essentially here. In terms of the handling model, uh, I would say you know, it's the grid game, so it's not exactly obviously towards simulation, nor is it towards arcade. It's kind of that blend in between uh, you know, kind of, you know, a little bit realistic here and there, but still able to kind of just have some good silly fun with the handling model. So in terms of how the F1 car will handle, um, that remains to be seen. I guess it would be a kind of a blend between maybe one of the prototype cars and how it plays in the F1 game. I would hazard a guess, maybe potentially. Another major aspect of that will actually be the camera, because I feel like F1 cars definitely, you drive them a little bit different depending on what camera angle you're using here. Obviously, we're not we're used to using the T-cam in the F1 games for the majority of the players. In the grid game, I'm pretty sure there probably won't be the standard T-cam camera for the F1 car. It'll probably be the same cameras that are available for every other car. So you'll have the kind of the chase camera, which is obviously the kind of away third-person view. There probably will be a cockpit camera, which will be pretty sick, because I've seen gameplay here and there around Gamescom of grid uh, with a cockpit camera. So that will definitely be, I think, probably available in the F1 car. And 
they'll probably be the bonnet cam or the, or the nose cam essentially, which is not the full T cam, but maybe as close as you'll get with the bonnet cam. But a cockpit cam should be still pretty uh, da damn sick, especially a tracks like Havana, like you're seeing there with such kind of like great backgrounds and kind of vistas around the track. It'll be pretty sick to actually drive the, the car like that. It'll be like almost like a very cool, different, unique version of driving somewhere like Monaco or Singapore. You're driving some random other city, which is pretty bonkers. And at the same time, you've got, you know, numerous cars going around you, uh, bumping you, hitting you, crashing around. Uh, you know, that good, same kind of grid, silly fun, that high octane action, but just in an F1 car, which would be pretty cool. But away from the F1 car then, like I said, it's been a while since we talked about grid 2019. So since we last talked about it, it's been delayed a little bit to October 11th. We've got some a few little videos from the devs talking about a bit more about the handling model and generally the game and the aspects of the AI and whatnot. So we're going to cut in a few clips here and just let you guys roll through because they're kind of having a little interview style question. So I'll just let them talk about the game and you might have missed it potentially on the grid channel. So here it is in this video. Uh, so the, the car we're using here in this uh, video is the Cadillac DPI VR. It's, it's a pretty insane car. So it's, it's awesome to be able to sort of mix and match the combination of cars and tracks we have to create you know, incredible racing like this, isn't it? Yeah, well, one of the pillars to the game is choice. Um, so through the career, you basically, you can choose any any race you want from any of the um, threads. And you don't have to play all the races. Um, basically, if you're a little short on time, you can play about 60% of the races, uh, any races you want, um, to get through to the Grid World Series where Raven West will be waiting for you. Um, so, yeah, you know, choice is a big part, and obviously which car you race, and how you race, we want you to do it. Of course, if you're a completionist and you want to do every race, you can still do that, and there's good rewards for you there as well. Okay, so we can see uh, in the HUD there, we can see Nick Whittle is your teammate. So that's one of the aspects of the AI system in the game that creates such uh, incredible racing. So could you talk us through like the teammate system and uh, the other features that we've got in there as well? Yeah, to start with, Nick Whittle, man. Useless. <laughs> My advice, you get him on your team, you fire him straight away and get someone else. So as you go up levels, um, you open new teammates, uh, and teammates uh, have all the detail of the AI from, that we've got in the game. They've got one additional quality, which is loyalty, um, i.e. How, how likely they are to respond and action on uh, what you want them to do. An example of this is, uh, we've got 72 of them, so these are only a couple of examples, but you could hire a guy who actually is a really great driver, really aggressive at how they take on the racing, but doesn't like you. And when you uh, essentially ask him to do anything, the engineer is going to say, you know what, he's turned his radio off, he's not speaking to you. Or you could get a very, very loyal driver um, who's a really, really good driver, but he's not as aggressive and he really relies on you to tell him to push uh, through the pack. And we just saw there as well that you've uh, established a second nemesis in the game who is uh, Rick Scott in this instance. So yeah, let's, let's delve into that a bit more about the nemesis system in GRID. Well, obviously, uh, if you're like me and you're a perfect driver that would never, ever touch another car, uh, you'll never see the Nemesis system. But um, one, another way we like to simulate real life and real motorsport is that when car-to-car -car contact happens, some drivers, some of these AIs, they're going to be uh, more chilled about it. Other drivers, well, you know, they're a little bit more uh, quick to anger. And essentially, in a you anger, you'll get a Nemesis, and Nemesis is, uh, well, they want to take you, they want to beat you, basically. Uh, yeah, and as we reach the end of the check out the end of this race. Yeah, this is amazing. Racing Fernando Alonso to the finish like yeah. that, absolutely He's fantastic. Slip streaming him. Yeah. He's going to overtake. Oh, gonna Alonso closes the door. What a great race! <laughs> That's a great example of the fantastic action we've got in the game of Fernando Alonso. Uh, yeah, so thanks for checking that out, guys. It's latest uh, grid action there, using Havana with a uh, grid coming out this October on Xbox One, PS4, and PC, and also coming soon to Google Stadia. So to me, it's all sounding pretty damn good. It's sounding like this grid reboot is really going to be like the old good old-fashioned grid original game but with an extra kick of spice of uh, you know what they want to do with this modern revamp basically and reboot there their own little touches especially with the AI that's something we didn't have in the original grid this new AI system I played a little bit of course I went to Codemasters a few a few weeks ago or months ago wherever it was well, I literally can't remember when I made that video but whatever whenever it was that I made that video that very first grid gameplay I talked about my first kind of impressions of having played it myself at the Cody studio and you could really tell how different the AI were in terms 
terms of, you know, one would ram you off into a corner, one wouldn't, one would give you space, one would squeeze you out. Uh, it was really chaotic as well in terms of see AI on AI contact and crashes and just bonkers action there. So I really think it's going to be, uh, if you were a fan of the original grid, you're going to really love this grid game. But equally so, if you've never really played too much grid or you play grid auto sports and you like that, I know a lot of people at the time when I made that video uh, kind of like the uh, kind of uh, party line I was giving of like, it almost had a feel of grid auto sport, but with the good stuff from grid basically, because auto sport was very stripped down grid and missed a lot of big features and just a lot of content basically, which the original grid had. So I feel like this is a happy blend between the two, which is a really good thing because all sport drove really well Had a really good kind of feel to it, I guess, but just not enough stuff to really do which I think this game will do So uh, yeah, looking forward to it Obviously, hopefully there'll be more chunkier kind of bits of gameplay for us to sink our teeth into I'm hoping personally, obviously yeah, we can get some more gameplay maybe with the F1 car eventually down the line But like I said, it's not too far away October 11th uh, Looking forward to that for sure Definitely gonna be making a, de a decent amount of videos on that because I really enjoyed O sport actually at the time I did a lot of streaming on that game so looking forward to it hopefully you guys are and let me know in the comments below if you are as well if you did enjoy the video though be sure to hit that like button if you're on your own here do get subscribed for some more grid 2019 content when it comes obviously and i will see you guys next time hope you enjoy the rest of your day goodbye